An out of control Chinese space station with highly toxic chemicals on board that is currently hurling toward Earth may crash into lower Michigan, it has been revealed. It is believed China's first prototype station, Tian Going 1, will come crashing back to the planet around April 3rd, experts say. A U.S. research organization, Aerospace Corporation, revealed that parts of southern lower Michigan are among the regions that have the highest probability of being hit by falling debris, according to MLive.com. Northern China, Central Italy, Northern Spain, the Middle East, New Zealand, Tasmania, South America, Southern Africa, and Northern states in the U.S. have been identified as regions with higher chances. But agencies will only know the precise date 10 going 1 will impact and exactly where debris will fall during the final weeks of its decline. The doomed 8.5 ton craft, which has been hurling toward Earth since control was lost in 2016, is believed to contain dangerous hydrazine. Experts from the European Space Agency, or ESA, based in Paris, are among those tracking 10 going 1, which means heavenly palace. Their space debris office in Darmstadt, Germany, predicted earlier this week that it would enter Earth's atmosphere between March 24th and April 19th. This narrows down from their previous estimates of March 17th to April 21st. Meanwhile, aerospace has worked in two weeks of error, one before and one after April 3rd in its latest estimate. Exactly where it will hit is slightly harder to predict, although experts agree it will be somewhere between latitudes 43 north and 43 south. Every couple of years something like this happens, but 10 going 1 is big and dense, so we need to keep an eye on it. Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist from Harvard University, told The Guardian, while most of it will burn up during re-entry, Around 10 to 40 percent of the satellite is expected to survive as debris in some parts may contain dangerous hydrazine and could weigh up to 220 pounds. However, due to changing conditions in space, it is not possible to accurately predict where the module will land. In recent months, the spacecraft has been speeding up and it is now falling by around 3.7 miles a week. In October, it was falling at 0.9 miles a week. It is only in the final week or so that we are going to be able to start speaking about it with more confidence, said Dr. McDowell. Now, I would guess, he went on to say, that a few pieces will survive reentry, but we will only know where they are going to land after the fact. Now, remember that a one hour error in our guest reentry time corresponds to a 27,000 kilometer or 17,000 mile error in the re-entry position, McDowell explained in one of his tweets. And currently our estimate has a two-week uncertainty. Now the Tangoing 1 spacecraft launched in 2011 with the aim of using the craft to set up a larger space station. The craft is now at an altitude of less than 300 kilometers or 186 miles in an orbit that is decaying, forcing it to make an uncontrolled re-entry. Now, in the history of spaceflight, no casualties due to falling space debris have ever been confirmed. Now, a highly toxic corrosive chemical could land on Earth when parts of the out-of-control Chinese space station crash into our planet. The chemical called hydrazine is used in rocket fuel and long-term exposure is believed to cause cancer in humans. The warning over exposure to the chemical came from Aerospace Corporation, a non-prop corporation based in El Santiago, California, which provides technical guidance and advice on all aspects of space missions. The hydrazine is a colorless, oily liquid or sometimes white crystalline compound with a very highly reactive base. Now, symptoms of short-term exposure to high levels of hydrazine include irritation of the eyes, nose and throat, dizziness, headaches, nausea, pulmonary edema, seizures and coma according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency. Long-term exposure can also damage the liver, kidneys and central nervous systems in humans. The liquid is corrosive and may produce dermatitis from skin contact in humans and animals. Increased incidences of lung, nasal cavity, and liver tumors have been observed in rodents exposed to hydrazine. The EPA has classified hydrazine as a group B2, a probable human carcinogen. What do you think? Where will this space station re-enter the Earth's atmosphere at? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.